guys, what's going on? Tim Pitts here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a pixel art character, um, like profile picture in Photoshop. It's very easy to do. I've actually been getting into pixel art recently um, and you guys are really enjoying it. Um, so thanks so much for the sick support on that. Um, but yeah, you guys suggested this. So here it is. It's very, very easy to do. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more uh, tutorials like this, um, then let, let me know down below in the comments. But also hit the like button. Can we break 100 likes? that would be amazing guys subscribe if you're new turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos i try to stream daily guys at 7 p.m uk time so make sure you come to them um, and just turn on notifications um, but yeah with that all being said let's get into the tutorial right guys so we are here in photoshop so this is something like what we will be creating in today's video it's very easy to do a lot of you guys have asked for this tutorial so yeah uh, here it is a lot of you guys actually get confused about the sizing and stuff um, so I'll talk you guys through it um, like you know uh, resizing it at the end and like how to not lose quality um, and stuff like that so well, yeah um, first thing you want to open up a um, 50 by 50 um, document 50 by 50 pixels um, I'll just show you guys image size 50 uh, by 50 um, so yeah um, this is the size and yeah, let's just get straight into it. Let's just hide everything else um, Control G hide it. So yeah, um, first thing go over to the pencil tool um, Just here and make sure it's on one pixel and we're just going to choose a color for the skin. So something like that Maybe um, So yeah, can't actually see the background right now So let's just press Control U on the background and make it a lighter a bit um, and I've got a ruler in the middle. If you can't see your rulers, press Control R on your keyboard, and it should pop up. Um, so basically, you want to make a basic outline of the, uh, your face or something. So this is the one that I did. Um, I could just go complete around that, but you know, I'll see. So yeah, you just kind of want to make a little outline of a face. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can, you know. Um, use the erase tool to fix anything so I'm gonna press Control G and just fill that in and then press E on the keyboard make sure make sure that uh, the eraser is on pencil I'm just gonna erase oh no <laughs> I did it on the wrong layer <laughs> I always do that make sure you do it on a new complete new layer you want to make sure that anything you do is always on a new layer it's just a lot help a lot very very helpful so yeah, let's just, sometimes the um, rulers in the middle mess up with um, the actual pixel work. So yeah, let's just see what we can do here. So I'm just using the eraser tool just to fix up some areas like so. Just want to get a basic outline of a face going. So this is looking quite nice. I'm just going to press Control J, Control T, and I'm going to flip that horizontal. And there we go, I've got a face. Um, so the one I created, I tried to make it look a little bit like me. It does a little bit, you know, it doesn't look exactly, but there's only so much you can do with pixel art. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do now is add a new layer and go to the brush tool, no, the pencil tool, sorry, and we're going to just add some hair whatever colour hair you want let's just do brown hair this time and yeah I'm just gonna do flat down hair you know flicked to the side but you guys can go crazy and do whatever you want with the hair so let's just try something it'll be a lot easier um, doing pixel art with like a mouse but I'm using a tracking pad on a laptop so you know Surely you guys, I'm, I do have a mouse, but I'm just used to this, you know, so, yeah. Let's do something like that. So yeah, I've got some random hair going on there. Maybe you want it to come down the side as well. Like so. Um, and yeah, once you've done that, let's just add some eyes. I'm going to go to white, add a new layer. Press Control H to bring back the uh, ruler, and we're just going to make an eye. You can make them any shape you want. 
but I think I might do something like this like that and then I'm gonna go over to the color and choose a random color um, maybe brown or something and yeah you can do like really cool sh uh, you know shapes and stuff um, but yeah I'm just gonna do something like that flip horizontal and just make sure it's um, you know symmetrical and stuff next we're gonna add a new layer um, and go to colors and we're gonna make some eyebrows so I'm gonna make it a bit darker and we're just gonna go like that obviously you guys can do whatever you want um, so next we're gonna add a mouth so you wanna go to the color go to the pipette and click and just make it a bit darker and maybe a bit more towards the red side and we're gonna do some lips slash mouth something like that I did it on a I did it on the same layer but that should be alright that should be okay um, and I'm gonna use the same color for the ears and the left and the right make sure it's symmetrical like so um, and yeah I'm not gonna show you guys how to do the actual body in fact yeah I will I'll do that um, I'll just do that right now so what you want to do is choose a random color for your, like your t-shirt so say you wanted um, a white t-shirt do that and we're just gonna create a cool shape I know I'm going over the face right now but I'm gonna bring this below everything else press G and there's fill press control J T control T uh, flip horizontal bring it over to the other side and then press control E and bring it below everything um, and then obviously you can press the eraser tool and just like shape it to however you want okay I like that so I'm just gonna delete the other side and then press ctrl J ctrl T flip horizontal and there we go and then obviously you need to get a neck in there so um, go back to colors click on the skin make it a bit darker and we'll make a neck something like that so yeah um, it does look a bit flat right now so we're gonna actually add, add some shade into it so what we're gonna do is add a new layer go to black and then say the light is coming in from the left um, the shadows will all be on the right but also we need to add a shadow like underneath the eyebrows like so and then underneath the hair like this because it's like over the top so we're gonna add a shadow right here and then also like on, at the top of the ears and then under the mouth and then also underneath on top of the neck and like underneath the chin sort of area and then also like here because the t-shirts this is where the t-shirts are like overlapping so something like that and then just bring down the opacity and then straight away we've got some really cool stuff going on there um, and then we're just gonna add some highlights so we're gonna go to white um, oh yeah also if you go back to that other layer and then go to the dark colour um, underneath the eyes as well uh, something like that so if we go back to the white maybe you want one there highlight there um, and then also like on the left side of the face and stuff but um, you can do that with the brush as well so if we go to the brush area go to the brush tool and um, make sure it's on zero hardness and then like we're gonna create a clipping mask over the top of the skin of the face and we're just gonna add like a highlight and we're gonna set that to overlay and bring down the opacity of it like so and you can do the exact same but with the hair and yeah just click on the left side 
set that to overlay and then you can also do the exact same on the other side but with a darker color so we'll just choose black set that to overlay bring down the op opacity of it and then do the same on the skin of the face set that to overlay bring down the opacity of it and yeah it's looking really really nice um, yeah you can add like more things to enhance the highlights and the shadows so like on the left side if you go back to the pencil tool and go to white you can like do something like that to en enhance the highlights and then bring down the opacity of it and then on the other side um, create like a darker shadow if you know what I mean um, but yeah you can like make the hair look really a lot more detailed if you just like go to the color of the hair choose a darker color and then like in random places just click and it creates like like some sort of texture it looks quite cool but yeah you guys get the idea you can bring down the opacity of it you can do the same but with lighter lighter color um, and yeah it's, it's, it's the exact same with a t-shirt as well like with the lighting and the shadows um, just make sure you know about the lighting and shadows so um, if the lights coming in from this way it looks gonna be lighter on this side and darker on that side so yeah um, you just need to know all about that but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video it's very very easy very simple to do if you want me to do like an animated tutorial for this let me know down below in the comments uh, hit the like button so we break 100 likes on this video that would be awesome and um, if you guys do break 100 likes I'll give away this I'll give away this if you guys want I don't know um, I can probably do a better version but if you guys break 100 likes I might give away this to you guys so let, uh, you know what to do smash that like button share it about subscribe if you're new turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and I'll see you guys in the next video